Welcome to the Half Done Hobbyist. My name's Simon and I'm very happy you've joined me. Now, this is just a very short tutorial on how I paint my chain rasps for issues 1 and 2 of Mortal Realms. So here, I'm just adding Hex Wraith Flame quite liberally to the white undercoat, Korax white undercoat. Now Hex Wraith Flame is a bit like a, mic a cross between a wash and a contrast paint. It's not quite as high pigment as a contrast paint, but um, it's not quite as thin as a wash either. So you just need to make sure you cover all the bottom part of the chain rasp and all the flames and make them Hex Wraith Flame. Now for his hood, I am using Pteradon Turquoise. Now this isn't going to be the final colour, the final colour of the hood will be black, but I found this to be a good help with the darkening down the black um, and also it gives a nice green effect on all the, the ridges. As you can see here I'm painting underneath the hood. So when you paint black you don't paint the underneath bits, you just paint, you don't paint all the edges, you just paint the the hood. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So just be as neat as possible, try not to get it in the hex wraith flame because it can be difficult to get it off. You'd need to go back over with something like Ultune Grey and then do the hex wraith again but even then it might not blend in properly. So for the sword, because these guys are meant to be done really quickly, lead belcher, straight out the pot. I know it's a sin, but really, who cares? So just cover all the bits that are meant to be silver, that would be the sword, the chains, make sure you get the wee, the chain through the wee hole in his cloak. So you've got his manacles as well, just uh, try to get as good coverage as possible. It's quite difficult for um, that thick paint to go in all these chain links, but it does work. It's fine. Um, just be as neat as possible and get all the bits. The secret to a well-painted miniature is just being neat. It's not special effects or fancy techniques or anything. It's just if you can get the paint where it's meant to be, then you've, that's half the battle. You can work on your fancy techniques later. So I'm just painting the, the ball and chain here, making sure I get it all. It's, uh, it's a, a really nice looking model. I wasn't really a big fan of uh, these chain rasps when I first saw them, but having painted a whole bunch of them, I really, really like them. So for his hood I am using Black Templar contrast paint, so coverage on this is really nice. It actually, it might not pick up in the camera but when it dries it actually leaves a wee tint of the Pteradon turquoise contrast uh, peeking through. Um, I tried various options with this, at one point I'd got the Pteradon turquoise and uh, dry brushed it with Ulthian Grey and then put the black on top which gave a much more defined highlight but wasn't quite the right colour so I just went for this that is Griff Charger Grey um, on the stone I think it looks quite nice I think it looks quite nice now just get all the stone there doesn't matter what it looks like, you're going to be slapping sterling, sterling mud on there anyway, so just like that. So get an old paintbrush or a modelling tool or whatever, scoop up as much of it as you can and then put it on. You don't want to just be painting the the brown water from sterling mud onto it because that just creates a brown base. Who wants that? You want the texture. So make sure you pick up some of the, the texture on your brush and then push it into position round the base. And then null oil on all the silver parts. Just be very careful 
You can even overspill a tiny wee bit just to give it a defined line around it when you, you go over the manacles and things like that. So this is just to dull down the, the metal and make it look old. It does quite a good job I think. Now get a dry brush with um, Althuan Grey on it. Wipe most of the paint off and start from the bottom because you want the bottom to be slightly whiter than the top. So if you start from the bottom and do a heavier dry brush at the bottom then it will make it look faded. And then I did a dry brush on the cloak with Cabalite Green which gave it a nice green tinge to it. I think it came out really nicely. And then on the base I used a Bane Blade Brown dry brush. And there you have it. A very quick, easy way of doing chain rasps. I'd really love the way these came out. Thanks for watching. Cheers.